don't leave me dangling. How long do you think it's going to take? Why? Oh, because it's tricky. I've got Amy to think of. Look, Rob, I said that I would stand by you. You know that I did. Yeah, and then you changed your mind and you dubbed me in. I did it for your own good. You were on the run. It was <laughs> never going to end well. What? Well, this has hardly ended well, Trace. My best mate in here shot his own brother for a dare. What kind of company is that? You killed Tina, so don't pretend you're any better than he is. But if I get a second chance, if this goes the way that Miss Solicitor thinks it might, I need to know that you still love me. I need to know that there's something to look forward to, otherwise, what's the point? Look, people aren't going to forgive you. Not round our way. Well, except you. Me and Amy, we always got on great, didn't we? I, I don't even know what she's up to these days. Well, she's playing the fight. Oh, my word! Trace! Amy, don't worry about it, sweetheart. There'll be plenty more opportunities. And I'm sure your mother won't miss them. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. Again. What happened? Oh, she was just really weak. I could tell something wasn't right. What, are they worried? Not as worried as I am. They've put her on a drip. Right, well, she'll be okay. Yeah. No, I think he likes me. I don't know. Might all be in my head. I'm normally so good at being able to tell. That must be exciting either way, being single and chasing lads. So where are you at? Oh. He's taken the kids out for a smoothie. They've been gone hours. That new place on the precinct? I love it there. Not cheap, that, though. Daddy's treat. Mm. So, I'm thinking, if nothing happens before Christmas, then that's it. I'm just gonna knock it on the edge. I bet you give it till New Year. I bet I don't. You know that saying, time waits for no man? Yeah, right, well, neither do I. Oh, here we go, finally. Blimey, what's happened to you? Ah, oh, slap funny. Hello, you two. Have you seen the time? It's 25 to 8. It's half seven. What's the panic? Not got school tomorrow. And like you have her in bed at this time anyway. Uh, I do, actually. And they both need a bath. I, I was just saying to Kylie about that new smoothie place on the precinct. I love it. It's dead expensive, though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, what are you doing later? Do you fancy a drink? A big pad. Me? Oh, yeah. That's really nice talking in front of the kids, that. Amy? Where were you? I'm so sorry. I got held up. She forgot. I told you she would. The Wayfarer broke down. I've had a complete and utter nightmare. By the time I got there, it was empty. How did it go, babe? She wouldn't go on. She was too scared because you weren't there. 200 people were, but not you. She lost her bottle. Oh, no. She needed your support. Yes, I think we've established that. Well, at least you managed to do your Christmas shopping. That's the important thing, as we can see by all the bags. They're in the shop. Listen, Amy, why don't we go out for a bit, eh? David's just taken his kids to that new smoothie place, you know, in the precinct. I don't want a smoothie. I want a mother. And you might want to let Robert know you're OK. He's been worried sick. At least my dad will be home soon. Why do you have to do it? Why can't he tell me? Because he's a coward. But she's going to be devastated. Yeah, of course she is, yeah. He promised her to be home by Christmas Eve. He promised us all, in fact. Mm. Oh, uh, there you are. Oh. Where you been? None of your business. Oh, yeah, OK. So nothing. Mm. Steve's not coming home for Christmas. Apparently Andy's broke his leg, and not for the first time, either. Steve's leg? No, Andy's leg. He broke his own leg, you know, painting the ceiling of the bar. Uh, right, they expect you to believe that? Well, he's got to stay and open it on Christmas Eve, apparently, and he can't afford not to. And she's got to break it to Amy. Yeah, wish me luck. Mm, you think you need luck? I've got to go to the garden centre and choose a Christmas tree. Oh, have fun. <laughs> uh... Oh. Come on, come on, it was shut. Come on. Hey, 
There we go. Did you get any bats? Ah, of course I did. Oh, so why the rough on one side and then smooth on the other? Oh, I think it's something to do with putting a spin on the ball. Should we christen it? Be rude not to. What's it first to you, 21? Play to serve. You all right, Dad? Uh, sorry. For a minute there, I thought you pair were playing ping pong. Oh, hi, Michelle. Come on in. Thanks. Is, uh, is Amy around? Uh, oh, she is, but um, she isn't in the best of fettle. Don't know if you heard, but she had stage fright this afternoon and she wouldn't go on. And Tracy didn't show up. Oh, well, uh, it's about to get worse, I'm afraid. So no sign? No, it don't look like it. I thought it was going to be like myself. Just had to move two dozen Christmas trees and drop tied on at the general. I was took another turn for the worse. Uh, well, have you heard from them? Mm. You looking for me? I hope there's one. Hello. Mm. Hey, Glenn. Anna. Yeah, um, oh, <laughs> uh, this is my friend, Kevin. Kevin, this is Glenn. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Kevin's on a date as well. Right, would you like to come to your table? Yeah. Today wasn't uh, about you. No, today was about Amy, and you blew it. Uh, the bus broke down. Blame the transport company. Plus, my phone wasn't working. That's you all over, isn't it? Blame the transport company. Blame the mobile network. Blame anyone but yourself. Oh, you sound like my dad. All right, let me see it. What? My phone, let me see it. Well, it's working now, isn't it? Look, if you don't believe me, that is your problem. If you could have seen it waiting to go on. She was physically shaking. Me and your dad, Emily and Nessa, all trying to reassure her. Oh, it's all kicking off over there. A dad set the shirt. Well, you'd hope so, wouldn't it. you? It's either that or he's turned up in fancy dress. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but can you take this outside? Oh, shut up, Leanne. Don't speak to her like that. Well, look at you. You're so desperate to get your claws into him. It's embarrassing. Now you're making a fool of yourself. I'm taking my break. Come on. No, it's all right. Stay and flirt with her. See if I care. I'll grow up, will you? Yeah, get out. I'm going. Where now? Like you care. tables outside railway stations. Well, businessmen and commuters carry their bats inside their briefcases. So strangers play each other while waiting for their train. So? So, table tennis brings people together. But we're not in Japan, and this isn't a train station. O'Driscoll's got a table in his warehouse. O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. Yeah, uh, he suggested a tournament, our staff versus his staff, and I thought it might help grease the wheels. Well, I can't see Beth playing table tennis. No, sure, nor is he. How many minority groups do you want to discriminate against in one breath, Dad? <laughs> Women, gays and the disabled? What about me? Can lesbians play ping pong? <laughs> I imagine lesbians would be all right. Why'd you say that? Now you're offended because I said you'd be good. Because you generalised, as if all lesbians are good at playing ping pong. Fine, we'll play ping pong. The world's gone mad. In my day, you agreed a price and shook hands. Dad? Yes. Are you OK? I'm grand. Why? You seem a bit cheery. Cheery? Me? No. Well, where are you off to now? I'm going to do some work. By the way, I've got some good news and some, uh, bad news. What's the bad news? I told old Driscoll you nearly made the Olympics in 1988. And I said you were trained by uh, Desmond Douglas. Who in God's name's Desmond Douglas? He's a table tennis player. Yeah, and he was big in the 80s. We were all big in the 80s. Ah, oh, the world's changing, Dad. You know, we can't run the business your way. And old Driscoll's already tweeted about the tournament. He's what? He's tweeted about it so we can't change our minds. And don't pretend like you don't know about Twitter. There's still time to practice, though. <sighs> What's the good news? Oh, I found my highlighter pens. <laughs> I'm going for a pint. Tweet that. <laughs> Maybe you and Eva could play. That's not happening. Yeah, 20 says it is. But the amount of money you put on us? Before the end of the year. OK, then, 20 quid. I bet I don't sleep with my employee. <laughs> Easiest 20 I'll ever make. Mm. Mm. Did you dry Lily's hair? No, I left it wet. I thought it'd be nice if she had flu over Christmas. Is Max's light out? I do know how to put the kids to bed, you know. I've been doing it for long enough. Yeah, after you kick me out. You're gonna throw that back in my face for the rest of our lives. So, Eva, 
If I do fancy that drink, Carly's got my number. Oh! <clears throat> I don't think you might take, but, but thanks. <laughs> no offence. None taken. So I'll see you at the Panto tomorrow, then. What's the Panto? Aladdin. Hello again. Oh, at last, she finally decides to drop in. I'm so sorry. And don't look at me. I couldn't decide what to wear. Now I know I've got it wrong. The second I left the house, I knew I got it wrong. I thought dress might be overdoing it, but if I wore jeans, I thought you might think I wasn't making the effort. And now I wish I were wearing jeans, so if, if you can imagine I am, but with, with boots. You look great. What about me? No. No, I look like my great auntie Ethel when she were alive. She used to have a tortoise. We used to play first to find it. Actually, she didn't live far from here. Do you know Domino Street? Yeah, of course I know Domino Street. Well, she used to live at number 38, one with the bright red door. At least it used to have a bright red door. Someone might have painted it entirely different colour now. Haven't been there in years. Might be blue, green, yellow. I've got a mate who lives on Domino Street. Guess the number. I don't know. Double six. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, well, I am funny. <laughs> she left me. Was it for another bloke? She said we'd grown apart. She said... Her pulse didn't race when I walked in the room. Oh. Well, that's not very fair, is it? 17 years of marriage. <clears throat> Bit too much to ask, don't you think? To still make a pulse race when I walk in the room? <laughs> 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 I can't believe you did that. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers. I want you to name a song with the word story in the title. <clears throat> Roses, uh, ten story love song. That story with an E. What, you never stipulated. Uh, all right, uh, Toy Story, the soundtrack. Is it technically a song called Toy Story? What's a story, Morning Glory, Oasis? No, 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 that's an album, not a song. It's oh. just called Morning Glory. <clears throat> Comeback story, Kings of Leon. Never heard of it. Well, it doesn't mean it isn't right. <laughs> the quiz master has to have added the song, mate. It's not my fault that the quiz master's an imbecile. Oh, insubordination, you lose a point. Hang on. The mattress is going. Right, if that's dawn, tell her I'm not in. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tracy. Ooh. Rob, can you talk? Gee, always. Listen, if you get out, I'll be waiting. That's all I wanted to hear. I still love you, Rob. I love you too. Listen, I've, I've got to go, though. Lockdown. OK, bye. Bye. She nibbled, she bit, and I reeled her in. A bit tight, isn't it? Well, she sold me down the river. I'm looking at another 24 years. Why should she have it so easy? All right, so what happens next? <sighs> I ring her boyfriend, invite him in for a little chat. Right, but you haven't got his number. I know where he lives, though, don't I? Right, I'm quiz master now. Fingers on buzzers. Happy was a career-defining song for Pharrell Williams, but can you name a song with the word sad in its title? Mm. And I used to be able to run the 400 metres in 51 seconds. Right. Smash him. It's that fast. How are you enjoying the nosh? That's very good. Mm. I'm always wary of shellfish as a general rule. Mussels I'm, I'm, I'm all right with, but oysters, they make me nervous. I mean, you don't know where they've been, do you? And I've never had a lobster in my life. I represented the county, but what I really wanted to be was a distance runner. 800 metres, 1,500 metres, 10K. Yeah. But never quite made the cut. I went to this restaurant once. It was a crawling around in a fish tank right in front of me. Tenerife, I think it were. Poor little beggars. Having a whale of time, completely oblivious as to what was coming next. They bore them alive, I believe. And they scream like plants. What, plants scream? I thought that was just a myth. Oh, no. Look, I've got a yucker in my living room, never shuts up. And not just when I'm pruning it. You think I'm making it up? You should come round and see it. Well, hear it. But it must have feelings. There's no other explanation. I mean, how do we know they haven't? Where's the proof?
We might have to cancel it all. What? We can't cancel. Ty, she might be in here over Christmas. They've said so. She will not be in here at Christmas. She'll be coming home. I'll insist on it. You're not a doctor. Well, it's not fair. Venus hasn't got anything to do with it. Listen, if she can't go to Lapland, then Lapland is coming to her. That's the end of it. A bad father to go with a bad mother. Steve isn't a bad father. And neither is Tracy a bad mother. Steve just trying to be a good brother. <laughs> Painting a ceiling. Pound for a pinch of snuff, they were out on the pot. Oh, I'll get it. Would you mind? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? You hung up on me. Uh, probably the blessed broadband people. No, oh, this didn't sound like a nuisance call. This sounded like there was somebody there. Ah, oh, is she any better? Yes, we're friends again. Steve got me out of jail. Oh, you're lucky. Not many would be so quick to forgive. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, an arts in the right place. And they're not exactly queuing up. Oh, how romantic. How's yours going? Um, yeah, you know, it's great. Really nice. Well, you know, clicking. You think you'll see him again? I don't know, it's a bit too early to say. Well, don't do anything I wouldn't. Eat your pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hang up on me as well, now. Someone playing silly beggars. You defended her. In front of me, you stuck up for her. She did nothing wrong. You laid into her for no good reason. You're the one who messed up today, Tracy, not Leanne. And don't try to pin this all on me. There's something going on I don't know about, but I'll find out what it is. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm an open book. How's Amy? Oh, Amy, Amy, Amy. That is all anybody cares about. Look, what happened today was not my fault. She lost her nerve. It's as simple as that. We've had a chat. She's had a cry. Everybody's a winner. I'm telling you, it's too big. I can't hold on the ceiling, you bastard. I don't have to decorate it, do I? We haven't decorated yours. Well, didn't have to. Mine already came with the ball balls on it. Oh, you really know how to drain the fun out of Christmas, don't you? Well, I'll get Sarah and Bethany to put the trimmings on. Oh, yeah, good luck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you can manage that, can't you? You're strong. So, uh, I'll see you again. I don't know. <laughs> what, you mean you'll still be going to the singles match? Oh, do you know what? I'm just not sure that it's going to work out for us. You got your eye on someone else? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. Look at that, uh, bloke in there. What, Kevin? <laughs> no, no, we're just friends. Sorry if I talk too much. I get nervous. I jabber. My mother always used to say, stop jabbering, Joanne. My brother calls me Jabber the Hutt. Do you think I talk too much? No, not at all. But his meter's running now. I think this is mine. So, um, should we do this again? Uh, why not? Eh? Oh, great. Glenn. No, pal, the name's Nigel. No, I mean, is this taxi for Glenn? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Joanne? Uh, I, I think your taxi's here, love. Up oh, ta. <clears throat> Hello. Well, bye oh. for now. Yeah, bye. Is that my nail polish? Uh, I don't think so, love. Well, it looks like it. Right, so what's it doing in my house, then? Tracy. Oh, here we go again. 
What time is it? How would they like it if we were calling their houses at this time of night? Well, let it ring. That'll show them. Oh, yeah, that'll show them. Would you get it then? I'm doing this. Hello? Oh, this sounds promising. Who's this? You must be Robert. And you are? This is Rob. I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. Rob who? Oh, all right, we're going to pretend that you don't know who I am. Well, let me give you a clue. You're sleeping in my bed, and I'm sleeping in a cell. What do you want? I've got some interesting information concerning your so-called girlfriend. Don't call here again. Ah, 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 wait. I send you an invitation. You work at Nick's Beast Store, don't you? It's in the post. I should be there with you sometime tomorrow. Come in and see me, and I'll explain everything. Oh, and uh, remember, not a word to Tracy. So who was it then? Uh, Broadband. Yeah, what did I say? Yeah, they're doing some customer survey. I struck them along for a bit and then I won't. Oh, well, nice one. Yeah, good for you, good for you. Honestly, you're ringing people up at Christmas. Who do they think they are? Well, as you probably know by now, we'll be saying goodbye to the residents of Downton Abbey this Christmas day. The final episode is at 8.45. And next, a whole host of celebrities pay tribute to this amazing drama with a special award. BAFTA celebrates Downton Abbey after this.